Hey guys, this is Siri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Siri. I live and work in Vietnam as an English teacher. And in November, actually, it became one year I um, have been teaching here. And I asked you guys to send me some questions. I left a post and I got a bunch of questions and that's what I'm going to be answering in today's video. So if there's something you are interested in watching, keep on watching, no long talking. Let's just dive straight into the questions. Okay, so I'm going to be looking down on my phone because the questions are on my phone. The first question is a three-part question. Hey, love your videos. They have been really informative. Thank you. First question is, how is the housing situation like for a first-time teacher there? So I would say for myself and most people that I know that work here, you have to find a place yourself and you also have to pay for your um, accommodation yourself. I'm pretty sure there are some schools, maybe one or two schools here that would pay for that, but I haven't met anyone who worked for any of those schools, so I personally don't know. But yeah, in my situation, um, this place we live in is a two-bedroom apartment, um, and we pay $700 a month, and we pay out of pocket. It wasn't really hard finding this place. There are different Facebook groups that you can go to, for example, Hanoi Massive or Hanoi Apartments like different house listings on there you just message them and book a house view and if you like your apartment you pay it's very simple as that um, second question second question do the school look for an apartment for you or do you have to do that yourself I just answered that I would say 80% of the time or 85% of the time you would have to look for the apartment yourself I haven't met anyone who work at a school where the school is the one that pays for your apartment so I don't know but yeah, you'd have to look for your apartment yourself. And third question this person asks is, how much money do you think I should bring on me? I would say if you're coming here for the first time, I would say, and you're coming to live here, obviously, I would say 2,000, between 1,500 and 2,000 USD should be enough to get you around before you maybe get your pay, your first pay she, uh, paycheck. I think that would be enough. Um, if you're coming here, I think with 2,000, you can. If you're looking for a one bedroom apartment, you can find a one bedroom apartment as low as $250 a month, $300, $400. It all depends on your taste of the kind of apartment you want, right? So yeah, but you can get, if you're looking for a one bedroom, you can get as low as $250, $300 a month. And food is very, very affordable here. So anything between $1,500 and $2,000, um, if that's what you're going to bring with you, I think it would be enough to take you for the first one month before you get your paycheck. Okay, next question. This person says, as a non-native Zimbabwean, would it be possible for me to teach there? I have done my schooling from primary to secondary as well as university in a native speaking country. I mean, I am Nigerian and I teach here. I am considered non-native as well. It's possible for you to teach here. However, it's much more difficult for non-native speakers. Unfortunately, most schools prioritize native speakers and European speakers also oh, all European citizens rather not speakers so yeah um it's possible I would say it's definitely much more easier if you're already on ground so if you can come here on like a because I think nowadays the three months visa and it's open I think it's open for all citizens like all nationals now correct me if I'm wrong if you can come here in a three with a three month visa I think when you're on ground it's definitely much more easier for a non-native to find a job um, done to do it it's possible when you're in zimbabwe or whatever country you're from it, it is still possible but it's definitely much more easier when you are on ground already in the country so yeah to answer your question yes it is possible i am non-native and i am currently working here okay this next one this person says which sites do you, do you use to check for jobs please share links if you can okay i'm going to put some links in the description box please check them people always ask me for links they are always in the description box um, to sites that you can use. I always say Facebook groups. I got my job through Facebook groups. I'm going to put a name of the few groups that I know. If you literally go on Facebook and type teaching in Vietnam, there's a bunch of groups that would pop up. Just join any, just join a number of them and you would see job ads. So, but I'm going to put some that I know in the description box and I'm also going to put a website where you can find teaching jobs here in Vietnam. So please, Check the des uh, description box for those links. Thanks. <laughs> okay, next question is what will I hold when I travel and how well can I get a teaching job? I think when you mean by what will I hold, are you talking about money, how much to hold? If that's the case, I already answered that. 
and how can I get a teaching job? I already answered that as well. You can apply from outside of Vietnam or you can apply inside the country. It all depends on whichever route you want to take and what's the criteria and certificates needed. So you need a university degree. Uh, it's compulsory to get the work visa. I've seen so many people in my comments saying, are you sure you need a university degree? I've heard you can find a job without a university degree. It might be possible to find a job, but you might, but you will not get the work visa. In order for you to take your, in order for the immigration to give you the working permit, your working visa, a university degree is mandatory so you need that so i don't know which agents you guys are talking to or maybe i may not know 100 percent but from things that i know from my school and people that i know here and just what you know what's been said here you definitely need a university degree and other degrees you would need is or certification you would need you would need a tesol so teaching english as a second language certificate i would say this is it wasn't super compulsory because I I do have it but when I got my visa the, the immigration didn't really ask for it for, for me specifically and my school never really asked for it however I would say 90% of schools do ask for um, a teaching certificate and it, it doesn't cost you anything I mean obviously it costs you money to have it but it adds to your advantage of getting a job and getting your um, your documentation your uh, work visa so yeah for certificates definitely a university degree and if you can get a TESO or a C1 proficiency, a proficient, proficiency test if you can do that so yeah those are what I would say you need for in terms of degrees and um, certificates to find a job here okay next question this person says how is the English level in Vietnam in general also guys I'm sorry if I'm speaking very fast I don't want this video to be too long how is the English level in Vietnam in general? I would say it's pretty good, um, especially in places like Hanoi because it's a very touristy country. Lots of tourists visit on a daily basis. Um, so I would say it's it's really not, it's, it's not as difficult to go around. Obviously, there are some places you would go to that it would be difficult. Like the area I live in, I live in Teho. Um, Teho is like the foreigner area. Lots of foreigners live here, so it's very easy. It's much more easier to get around here if you don't speak um, Vietnamese at all. Like it's much more easier to navig navigate life in this part of town because lots of foreigners live here. So most of like the businesses and shops and restaurants and whatever, they cater to foreigners. So they employ people that speak um, English. But outside of Peho, just in general, it's not that bad. I mean, I can't speak for other cities like Da Nang or Ho Chi Minh because I don't live there. But in Hanoi, I would, I would say it's not that bad. And you have Google Translate. So if push comes to shove, just Google Translate it. I mean, that, at least that's what I do. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. This one is a bit long, so I'm going to answer it in different sections. The, uh, the first one is, does all, does all schools accept Nigerians or uh, searching schools? Um, I mean, I can't speak for all schools, but I would say, I wouldn't say all schools. There are some schools and some employers that only want native speakers and Nigerians are not considered native speakers. So not all schools accept Nigerians, not all schools accept non-native. However, there are schools here that don't care about if you're a native speaker or, or not. So not all schools accept, but there are schools here that accept. And the other question from the same person is, can I get a job that covers the travel expenses? I mean, if you do find that job, let me know. <laughs> I mean, it is possible. It is possible to find a job here. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't know anyone personally that their job, that their employer covers covered their travel expenses. But I'm pretty sure you can find that here. It's possible, but I have just never seen or heard of anyone that works for a company like that for teaching. I don't know maybe about other jobs if you're doing tech or anything like that. But I don't know for teaching. I haven't met any other one. Another question from this same person is, are they kind to black teachers? What's the process like and must you use recruiting agents? Um, kind to black teachers, I can only speak from my personal experience. I am very, very lucky with the school that I'm at. Uh, they really appreciate all their teachers. They have lots of foreign teachers and out of all the foreign teachers, I'm the only black teacher there. And not for once during the whole interview process until now have I ever felt like 
out of place in that school they've never treated me less than the other foreign teachers so from my own personal experience i am very lucky to be working where i'm at uh, my school is very nice um yeah and um there are lots of like other black teachers here I personally from the people that I know I haven't heard anything obviously I can only speak from my experience and experiences of people that I know that have spoken to me about their own experiences um, so I would say in general from from my lived experience here it's good but I would say just as a black person anywhere in the world just always prepare yourself because you can never really tell you just hope for the best um, and prepare for the worst I guess um, so yeah, do you have to go, must you use recruiting agents? You don't have to, but if you find one that is legit and it's not expensive, why not? Um, most schools usually be post by themselves online or sometimes they would post through recruiting agents. And speaking of recruiting agents, people ask me all the time, do I have an agent? Can I link them to agents? Can I help them find jobs? Guys, if I'm an agent, you guys will be the first person. If I can help you guys find a job, you guys will be the first one to do because that would be a very lucrative business for me. So no, I am not an agent, unfortunately. It's something that I hopefully want to do because I do get lots of questions on a daily basis saying, help me find a job. I mean, it's something I'm working on, so maybe I can work with schools in the future. But for now, I am not an agent and I don't know any agents. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you with that. So I just want to put it out there because a lot of times people come to me or email me or DM me saying, help me find a job sorry guys i i can't do that unfortunately for now uh, okay last question from this this same person is what are the good and the bad sides of living and teaching in vietnam and how to go about getting job how to go about getting job i already mentioned that just go on facebook groups and also check out websites again links to all these groups will be in the description the good and the bad sides about living and teaching in vietnam for me let's have a, uh, i don't really have a lot of bad sides because i truly truly enjoy my job i truly truly enjoy my school obviously there's some changes that i would like but they're not like things that really you know make me don't sleep at night um I, so for me it's mostly good um the, everybody's nice at my school the kids are amazing my co-teachers are amazing and living in vietnam it's affordable i really cannot complain maybe except for the weather because during summertime it's really really hot thankfully it's cool now so we can wear sweaters and jumpers again so that's nice and i guess when it comes to one of the bad things or the bad side of living here i would say it's a very crowded city at least for hanoi that's where i live it's very crowded it's very congested it's very noisy so if you're someone who likes a slow pace of life like you like you love slow living maybe um if you want to come to vietnam think of other cities don't think of hanoi because i'm speaking only for hanoi i don't know about other cities so yeah but generally my experience here has been good i i really can't think of any bad thing besides you know it's congested and bad air quality so yeah there's that okay so this is a question this next one is a question that i do get a lot what is the salary i've made a video before in the past talking about how much um, teachers do get paid here so I'm just gonna give, answer that again in this video so what's the salary so you can make anywhere as low as $1,000 a month to anywhere to $3,000 $3,500 a month it all depends on the school you work at obviously what they're offering you and um, if you're a native speaker or not um, native speakers are people that are from like america canada the uk australia south africa and which other country i forgot the other country unfortunately unfortunately for us and fortunately for them they get the higher pay because they are native speakers and they are the most sought after so schools and employers will pay them more so definitely they are on the higher side of the salary for non-native speakers like us you can get anywhere between 1000 to 2000 2500 dollars if you're very lucky um so yeah but yeah so the salary again but i would also say um any any school trying to offer you anything less than a thousand five um that's a very low wage i'm just gonna say that is very that's considered low wage for like the english teaching community here so i mean it's up to you to decide if you want to take that job 
or not but yeah salary you could earn anywhere as low as 1000 sadly or you can earn as high as 3500 so it depends on uh, the category you fall under but yeah that is the uh, pay range here for teachers I mean I don't know anyone who earns more than 3500 maybe there are I don't know I haven't met personally if there are good luck uh, happy for them must be nice but yeah that's the pay range um, here that I am familiar with okay next question this person said hello please if my certificates aren't legalized in the Vietnam Embassy in Nigeria and I'm already in Vietnam can I get a job yes you can um when excuse me when I found my job my certificates had not been legalized at all none of them not my university degree not anyone so I got my job and then I had to send my degrees home back to Nigeria and my family helps me do all that and then they sent it back to me um, so yeah when you do get a job the thing is when you get a job your school would process what is called a business visa for you so that is a three month visa so within that three months that's when you do all your if you I mean if you already have all your documentations ready legalized and all that you just give it to them immediately and they can change your three month visa in the course of two weeks to your work permit but at first you get a business visa for three months so if you were someone like me in my situation who hadn't legalized all the documents that's enough time for you to send your documents back home to Nigeria or wherever country you're from get it all done and then process your um, your work permit so yes if you're already in the country and you still haven't legalized your document still go ahead and find jobs schools will employ you anyways and when you do all that documentation you just change your business visa to um, a working permit so yeah okay the next question I have here is can foreigners can foreigners teach subjects other than English yeah you can there are lots of um, Facebook um, job ads that say we need math teachers science teacher uh, art teacher I mean obviously English teachers are like the most sought after here it's like the most popular one you would find however there are other job um, that foreigners can do there are other subjects like math science and art that foreigners can also teach as well so get on the Facebook and start looking you're gonna find them okay this is these are the last questions I am going to be answering for this video um, the first one uh, these questions are all from the same person it said thank you so much for the video and for all the information thank you I was wondering how do these schools usually pay you is it cash or do you need to open a Vietnamese bank account well you can either like my school you can either take your money in cash and if you have a bank account uh, a Vietnamese bank account they can transfer it to you it depends on which way you want like my husband where he works they only get paid in cash for some weird reason so he always gets his money paid in cash so yeah you can get your money in cash or if you have a Vietnamese bank account and your school does bank transfer you can get your money transferred to your bank account um, also another question from this person is what would a, what would be a daily life for a teacher do they give you daily script scenarios to which you need to prepare for a lesson so I guess you I guess you mean like what is a daily life like if you have like your lessons already made for you or you have to make your lessons for yourself and also about school materials are they all provided um it would depend so like I think for like most if you work with public schools for most public schools you already have all your teaching materials provided for you they will send it to you maybe like um, a week maybe for your classes for next week they will send your teaching materials to you for next week so you obviously familiarize yourself with what you'll be teaching next week but everything is all made for you and you just go into class and you do the lesson bing bam bam but I think for private school private schools because I work at private schools and I have friends that work at private schools you have to make your lessons yourself so I make my lesson plan myself I make my lesson teaching material like the materials I teach in the classroom I make that myself if I have any other things I would need like props or whatever I provide that by myself and we don't get refunded for and if we spend our own money to buy props or anything like that we don't get it back unfortunately but yeah so I think if you work with a public school all your teaching materials would be provided for you you just need to show up in the class and do the lesson but if you work in a pub in a private school there's a high there's a high chance that you get to do all your materials yourself which can be very draining but mm, it is what it is I'm so used to the work like the workflow now it doesn't even take me like hours to do like my teaching materials prepare my lesson because I'm so used to it's like um, 
like my what's the word I'm looking for it's like when you do something a lot a lot now it's just like riding a bike you just know what to do you used to the lesson you know what you know like you know your kids already so you, I know how to tailor my lessons to my kids but yeah um I hope that answered your question so yeah that is all the questions I am gonna be taking for today's video I don't want this video to be very long but if you do have any more questions please leave them in the comment section I am always going through my comments and replying your questions like I said please check description box to links to websites where you can apply for teaching jobs and Facebook groups and for the last time I'm gonna say here I am NOT an agent I cannot help you find a job unfortunately but if one day I become an agent and I can help people find job you guys will be the first to know because obviously I want support from you guys but yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up um, I make content about my life here as an English teacher living in Vietnam so if that's something you are interested in please also subscribe that would make me very happy once again thank you so much for your support and I will see you guys in my next one bye